Welcome back everyone, Houston Math Prep here. We are going to just practice evaluating some logarithms, getting you thinking about exponents written as logarithms. So let's just look at a few examples I have written here just to practice thinking through them. The first one here I have log base 2 of 8. Now this is really saying, remember, what power of this base written here is this number here? And 2 to what power gives us 8? The answer is 3 because 2 cubed is 8. If we look at the second one, log base 2 of 16 is saying what power of 2 is 16. So 2 to what power gives us that number 16? And the answer is 2 to the 4th. Looking at the next one, we have log with a 16 in it, only this time the base is 4. So this one is saying a little bit differently what power of 4 is 16. In other words, 4 to what number gives us 16? Since 4 squared gives us 16, the answer is 2. And our last one here, log base 4, but now the number is 64. So that's saying what power of 4 is 64? 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. 4 cubed, in other words, so our answer is 3 for this one. Let's just work through evaluating many more logarithms with a couple of different bases. So here I've got a bunch of logarithms with base 5. So this one says log base 5 of 25, and that says what power of 5 is 25? 5 squared is 25, so we get an exponent of 2 there for our answer. Log base 5, 125. 5 to what power gives us 125? Well, this number is 5 times this number, and this number was 2. So we'll go ahead and say 5 cubed gives us 25. Remember with logarithms, the answer is the exponent. So 5 to what power gives us 5? Five? 5 to the first power would give us 5. And then a little bit bigger here, 5 to what power gives us 625? It's 5 times this one, so it must be one more copy of 5. So that is 5 to the fourth power gives us 625. Over here on this side we have some fractions, so remember when we want to get a fraction that's reciprocal and that means we're taking the negative power of something. So if 5 squared was 25 and our answer was 2 here, this is the reciprocal of 25, right? In other words, the reciprocal of 5 squared, so this is 5 to the negative 2 power. Okay, so think about 25 is 5 squared, so that gives us the 2, but because it's the reciprocal, remember 4 powers, reciprocal means it's a negative power. So this one, we had 5 to the third was 125, so answer was 3 over here. Since this is the reciprocal of 125, we'll get that 1 over 125 is actually the negative 3 power of 5. Number 7 here is just a reciprocal idea of number 3. This was 5 to the 1 gave us 5, so this is 5 to the negative 1 gives us the reciprocal of 5. And then of course when we ask something like log base 5 of 1, log base anything of 1 should be what power? In other words, 5 to the what power gives us 1? The answer is 5 to the 0 power will give us 1. Let's look at several more now with base 3. So just getting more practice. Log base 3 of 27 says 3 to what power gives me this number? 3 cubed gives us 27. 3 to what power gives me 3? 3 to the first power gives me 3. 3 to what power gives me 1? Just like log base 5 of 1, log base 3 of 1 is 0. 3 to the 0 is 1. Now we have a fraction, so this is going to be a reciprocal, so I know it's going to be negative something. This is a reciprocal power of 3. 3 to the what gives me 1 ninth? Well, don't think about the reciprocal so much, maybe at first. Uh, 3 to what power just gives us 9? 3 squared gives us 9, so if it was just 9, we would say 2. But since it's the reciprocal, our answer is negative 2. 3 to the negative 2 gives us 1 ninth. Here we have some roots now, so if you remember the rule for roots, what power of 3 is the square root of 3? Well, just remember that a root of a number is a fraction power of that number, so square root is the one-half power of a number, and this is the cube root, and remember that will be the one-third power of a number, and the fourth root of 3, that's going to be the one-fourth power. So a couple of things that are common mistakes as people start working with logarithms. Negative exponents don't mean negative numbers. Negative exponents mean reciprocals, so that's why we're getting a negative answer here. 
Fraction powers don't mean you get a fraction like we did here. Fraction powers mean we're talking about a type of root, square root, cube root, fourth root, etc. Now here we have a mixture, right? Not only do I have a square root, which I know is the one half power of three, but I also have the reciprocal of that square root. So I'm also going to need a negative in this case. So it's a reciprocal and it's a root. So we get a negative and we get a rational exponent. Okay, hopefully this helps everybody starting off with evaluating logarithms. Thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you in the next video.